California law says we should all have clean, safe drinking water. Back in the 1970s, pesticides were discovered in groundwater around the country, including here in the heart of California's agricultural region, the Central Valley. To tackle this growing problem, the legislature passed laws requiring pesticide manufacturers to provide certain information about their products, making it easier to identify pesticides that may contaminate groundwater. And the law also gives DPR the authority to restrict the use of agricultural pesticides if they're detected in groundwater. If manufacturers do not comply with the law, they are not allowed to sell their products in California. For more than 25 years, DPR has sampled nearly 6,000 wells for about 160 agricultural pesticides or their breakdown products. Our sampling programs help ensure that the pesticides we're using today aren't harming people or the environment. Each year, DPR scientists select several agricultural pesticides for sampling. These pesticides are mobile and persistent, like the pesticides DPR regulates as groundwater contaminants, but they haven't been found in groundwater yet. DPR samples about 60 of the shallowest wells in areas where these pesticides are heavily used. Shallow groundwater is the most susceptible to contamination. And since we are focusing on agricultural pesticides, much of the sampling happens in the Sacramento Valley, the San Joaquin Valley, and the coastal agricultural areas. We're looking specifically for agricultural pesticides that maybe get into the groundwater. Um, do I have to let you guys sample my well? I get my well tested on a regular basis, and it's always been fine in the past. It is completely voluntary on your part. If we find something, we tell you, it would go into the report, but everything else is confidential, your address, and it is not released. Okay, well, uh, that sounds good to me. Uh, what else do you need from me? Uh, just access to the well and your address so we can send you the results. Okay, cool. Uh, my well is back there. Thank you. Water samples are taken as close to the wellhead as possible, usually from a faucet or other port. Our scientists then follow strict guidelines such as running the well prior to sampling, rinsing sample containers with native water, and completing paperwork. Each sample is carefully analyzed at state laboratories, and the results are then entered into a database for further study. DPR scientists also take samples from a network of domestic drinking water wells in Fresno and Tulare. These wells are in an area that is highly vulnerable to groundwater contamination and farmers in this region have had to adopt safer application practices to protect groundwater. From the pesticide residues that we found in wells, we were able to use statistical methods to relate patterns of pesticide detections to geographical features of land that made those certain areas of land more vulnerable to groundwater contamination. This was a breakthrough for groundwater safety. In 2004, regulations for pesticide use in vulnerable areas were updated to incorporate soil and depth of groundwater information. Seventy domestic drinking water wells with pesticide residues have been sampled annually in groundwater protection areas in Fresno and Tulare since 1999. Recent trends show that residues of regulated pesticides have been decreasing. We feel this shows that DPR's regulatory approach has been effective at decreasing pesticide concentrations and effective in providing a cleaner drinking water source. DPR's 25 years of groundwater sampling data is essential to making scientifically sound regulatory decisions. With today's advanced technology, scientists are developing a better understanding of how pesticides may contaminate groundwater. We can now predict much more clearly if a new pesticide could potentially contaminate groundwater. These advances mean that DPR can work with pesticide manufacturers and implement safer use practices before the pesticide is ever used in California. Groundwater sampling is a vital part of DPR's regulatory system. For more information about our program, please visit our website. Since 1986, DPR has also been collecting pesticide sampling data from other California public agencies. Our database contains over 2 million records covering 25,000 public and private wells and over 360 different pesticides and pesticide degradants. The data is used by scientists around the state to maintain and improve California's drinking water quality.